I'm going to show you a very cool trick that will allow you to make it very easy for a user to add a photo gallery to a page inside of Mod X. And uh, I want to thank uh, Ben uh, for his help on this. And you can follow him on Twitter. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to set up uh, a template variable that will hold the galleries that you have set up for uh, your website and then how to put those into a web page. So first thing you need obviously is gallery and you need to be using the latest version. I have version 1.2 running on here. Previous versions uh, did not have the capabilities of doing this so make sure that you have the latest version of gallery installed and uh, I've set up a couple of galleries uh, for this particular demonstration. So I've got two galleries here and some pictures in each. So go ahead and install that and make sure it's working properly. Uh, now I'm going to set up the template variable and I've already set one up just for sake of time and I've created a category called photo gallery just to make it easier for the users to know uh, which template variables they're working with. So I've called it gallery selector because that's what it is. It's it going to be a drop down list of the photo galleries that you have already set up and uh, just for the user I've told them to choose a photo album the rest is is all default so set up this uh, template variable like this and choose save and I'll show you what that will actually look like now for the user so go to the home page and template variables and there is our selector and if I choose the drop down you will see both my first and second album with a little thumbnail there and see that's very easy if you set this up for you your users it's very easy for them to choose which album they want to install on their page now we actually have to get the gallery call to work so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this call into my uh, actual template. So let's go to my template, it's the demo template. And I'm going to go down and find where the content is. There it is. And I'm going to put this after the content so I can add a little description maybe above the gallery about what it's about. And I've already got one copied here. Now just for sake of, of this tutorial, I'm going to just leave this very simple gallery call and I'm going to pull in the second album. So let's save this. And we'll go to our home page. Right now there is no gallery. So let's refresh. And there it is. So there's my, my uh, second photo gallery. But now what we want to do is we want to replace the ID with the selector that we set up. So I'm going to pull in my template variable. and save that and if I spelled it correctly now if I refresh this my gallery should disappear and there it does why because the home page right now has the selector set to none and that's the nice thing about this if you don't have a gallery selected that's fine it won't show at all so now I'm gonna pull the first album in and one thing I noted, uh, noticed about uh, Mod X, I'm using 2.0.8, uh, is that if you only make a change to a drop down, you don't get the save button to appear. So I'm going to just add a little space here. Now I get it to appear, and I'll hit save. And now, when I refresh, I get the first gallery. So that's how easy it is to add uh, a photo gallery selector put it in the template of course you can do a lot more with the with the call to gallery but that's very simply you put it in the template and then it gives the ability on any page for a user to add one of your photo galleries so I hope this has been helpful